I wanted to talk a little bit today about the marquee menu. If you don't know what the marquee menu is, you can right click in your design file and you will see a radial menu here. This is the marquee menu. You'll also notice as I move my mouse around to the different points in the marquee menu, there's a shaded triangular area and that indicates what command you are going to start if you were to click. And we'll also talk about something else that marquee menu will do for you in a little bit. Um, so if we wanted to start a new sketch, all I need to do is go down to the new sketch button, go ahead and click. Now I can click on my plane that I want to add that sketch on. And if I right click again while I'm in that sketch, I'm going to get a different marquee menu. This is because Inventor realizes I'm in a different environment and, prevent, and presents me with new options. So if I wanted to draw a circle center point here, I just need to click on that icon, go ahead and choose my point, drag it out. If we wanted to create a dimension, again, I could right click the general dimension tools there, add our value in. I can right click and say, okay. If I want to finish the sketch, I'll right click and say finish 2D sketch. And now I'm going to right click again and choose extrude. And so you can see we created this extrusion without having to go up to the ribbon to access the different modeling commands. I'm going to go ahead and delete this sketch and show you something different. So if we look at our marking menu again, straight down is our new sketch. One of the things the marking menu also allows you to do is to gesture the different commands. So if I wanted to start a new sketch, I don't have to right click and wait for that command to appear. I can just right click and drag in the direction. And when I do, I gestured a new sketch to, to start. So go ahead and click on that plane again. And now if I want to draw my circle, I just gesture up and to the left. Now I've got my circle that I created. Down in the left will create my general dimension. Go ahead and accept that. Straight down will create, will finish my sketch and up and to the right will extrude my sketch. So you can see that's a pretty quick way of doing things. If I were to right click, I'll do that one more time. We'll do this in real time. So I'll go new sketch, choose my plane, up and to the left for my circle point, down in the left to do my general dimension, finish my 2D sketch, up and to the right to create my extrude, go ahead and accept that value by right clicking and clicking OK. You can also customize the marking menu. So if I go to the tools, customize, let's change the 2D sketch. We'll go and find 2D sketch from the list. And what I want to do is instead of a two point rectangle, a lot of times I like to use a center point rectangle. So over in my list of commands, I can choose any of these. First thing I want to do is choose what command I want to customize. So go ahead and click on that. And now in this box, I'm going to type in a rectangle or part of rectangle. And you can see two point center rectangle is the one that I want to change. So I go ahead and apply that and click OK. And now we'll put a new sketch on that face. And when I right click, two point rectangle now appears on my marking menu. If I don't like a change that I made, I can go ahead and customize. Again, the marking menu, choose my 2D sketch and I can go ahead and say, restore default, apply that, click OK. We'll put another new sketch on there. Now when I right click, we're back to our original two point rectangle. So I hope that helps to explain some of the added functionality the marking menu brings and how it can save you a little bit of time.